Hey folks, Coach Grandpa here. Well, it's almost been a thousand rounds through this puppy. That's right, a thousand rounds. Can you believe it? I really like this weapon. <laughs> so I put a lot of rounds down range with her. Basically, every time I go to the range, I take her with me and I, I always seem to find the money to throw a lead down range with her. So... I think I can honestly tell you a little bit about her and give you my two cents. And basically she's like has no problem. She's a true Glock. Perfection. Perfection. That's all I gotta say. I've always liked Glock and she's not letting me down. So I basically have ran an array of ammo through her. Even this stuff. I've never heard of this stuff. I try to run 40 grain. I don't know what Remington um, Golden Bullets is. 38, 40. If you know, let me know because I tried to read all this fine print and I've never seen what grain that is. All right, I got some old CCI Christmas. You know, so I'm cycling that. It's eating it. This even has a weird coat on it. So I was a little worried. If that was gonna jam it up and get up, foul it up and get it all dirty real quick. So I ran that. Federal. Isn't this supposed to be good ammo? No problem. 1200 foot per square. Real fast bullets. And I run subsonic. I didn't know these are subsonic, but I, I don't know what sonic is, but this is 1070 feet per second. Standard velocity. Not much of a crack, so I'm thinking it's sub. So I'm calling that subsonic. This is subsonic. And this is subsonic. This is pretty good ammo. And never had a problem with any of them. Not a single problem. So that's cool. Love that. Love that to death. So my two cents is you got to get one of these. They're fun. Price of ammo nowadays. Good golly gee. <laughs> and you... I've been at the range, I don't know when I even got the suppressor, but I've been a member at the range for a month now, and a month and a week, and I've already been there, what, 10 times? And just to make my money, all I have to do is go 24 times a year, and I make my money back, so I'm ahead of the game, way ahead of the game. But you got to figure, you got to spend a lot of money on ammo. This puppy's saving me so much money, and she's fun. And I'm not the greatest. I'm not even good. I'm I'm about poor when it comes to shooting a handgun. If you look at my videos, you'll see I'm not that good. Boy, with an AR-15, though, you better not be cussing at me. <laughs> but with this puppy, you got a chance. But I'm getting better, so don't piss me off. But one thing I do want to bring up, and I just love to throw this out there. Just like I did with the magazines, don't hit the bottom of them <clears throat> on an AR-15 when it's back, when the bolt carrier is back, because you don't want that round to get jammed up in there. <laughs> that caused a lot of problems. I love that. And so, one thing I want to bring up about this weapon and all your weapons, one thing you really need to try to keep from doing is when it's in this situation and if there's not a magazine up there and a round in there, this is really made to have a round in there to forward that slide, slam it forward. It's made to have a round in there. And if you don't have one, don't do that. Basically, just get it off that and go down. You know, you don't have to do that. So try to keep from doing that. Basically, this release is just when there's a magazine in there. It's a quick release to get, get you back in the fight. All right, that's what it's for. It's not to always let the slide go forward, especially when there is no ammo in there. That's not made for that. It's going to help the life of your weapon, and it's going to minimize malfunctions that you're going to have down the road. So I hope that pisses off a lot of people, but look it up. There's a couple people that us old farts tell you that. You know, there's other guys that will tell you the same thing on the, the old internet. So just check it out. I'm not the only idiot. So, all right. So have fun with that, folks. <laughs> Gotta love that. So, gosh, I really like this weapon. 
triple a glock 44 don't listen to those other idiots even if those guys that are professional 22 lr guys they dog the crap out of this weapon and then they the, it's so funny it says well i even have problems running that ammo in my so-and-so so-and-so weapon <laughs> yeah buddy you run garbage you're gonna get garbage so thanks for watching folks i hope i pissed off a bunch of you because <laughs> that's what i do thanks for watching <laughs>